So the Pittsburgh Police Department assaults members of the Pagans Motorcycle Club at Kopi's Bar a couple years ago, and now they didn't do nothing wrong. I wonder if the Citizens Review Board seen the same video that all of us seen. And during this segment, I'm going to let that video play in its entirety. For those who are always coming on our social media platforms saying, Why are you like that towards cops? the way I am. It's very simple. It's because I know the facts of life. That cops are never ever held accountable for their actions against MCs or bikers at that. Sometimes I say, maybe we should get these leftist protesters out there and maybe we'll get some satisfaction. Because God knows... The bikers ain't going to come together for a big protest like they would to get the media's attention on this. Now, this was a report that just slipped right underneath. In this report, you will see that detectives at this bar who were on duty were drinking 20-something freaking beers. It's in the report. The pagans came into the bar just like any other regular patrons. Weren't bugging nobody. I actually got a lot of coverage on this in past videos in the library, even interviewing one of the witnesses that was there that said the pagans did nothing wrong to deserve what happened. So they get arrested. And of course the cops say that they started it. The video don't bear that out, especially when the cops went there to try to get that video and the owner, thank God, didn't give it to them or kept it from them. What I do know is the citizens of this country is sick and tired of law enforcement getting away with these kind of events. They did it down in Waco, and now they did it again in Pittsburgh. Now, from what I hear, Pittsburgh cops are just like Chicago cops, meatheads. They're dipshits. They get off on hurting people. But they still get a job, even though they're found to do a lot of wrong. You cannot tell me that those arrests were legal. That video caught everything. And I, I know Kopi said it's suing the, play, uh, the cops. I hope the pagans go after them. Law enforcement has shown a pattern of abusing their authority with MCs. Look at the settlement with the Hells Angels up north about the cop actually saying that he wanted to kill him because he was a Hells Angel. Enough is enough, biker community. MRF, Abate, get involved in something like this one because this isn't right. And the reason why it continues to happen is because our biker rights organizations don't go out and cause a bunch of shit like these other protesters do. I guess it takes freaking burning buildings down to finally get the national media to say, you know what, enough's enough. We'll cover the story. Because this is a story that needs to be covered. In its entirety. 
Let's take a look right now, and then we'll start throwing up the, the video of this whole thing after we read this uh, deal here. Now, this is one of the police or the news reports on this from Action News 4. Citizen Police Review Board issues report into the Southside bar fight involving undercover officers. The Citizens Police Review Board here in Pittsburgh called what happened inside Kofi's bar back in October of 2018 a melee and one that could have been avoided between undercover Pittsburgh police officers and members of the Pagans Motorcycle Club. That said, tonight, Executive Director Beth Pittenger tells me she's cautiously optimistic about changes that will make sure it doesn't happen again. The officers were there doing surveillance inside Kopi's bar as part of a drug investigation into a person, all part of an official operation. The target left for the night, but officers stayed. The police review board indicates three of the officers stayed and drank between 13 and 19 drinks, according to the video. Members of the Pagans Motorcycle Club walked in, which is when Police Review Board Executive Director Beth Pittenger says the night went sideways. Um, there were plenty of opportunities for those detectives to get up and leave. They didn't. The report indicates that in the moment, the officers initiated a new investigation into the Pagans, despite no evidence those men had done anything wrong. After a verbal back and forth, a fight breaks out. Members of the Pagans were charged. Those charges later dropped. Civil litigation by those men, as well as the bar against the city, is ongoing. All in all, it was one of the most disgraceful, offensive, disgusting incidents I've ever observed, you know, conducted by the Pittsburgh Bureau of Police Officers. We did make changes immediately after the incident, and we did change command as well. Uh, immediately after the incident. Mayor Bill Peduto and police leadership initiated a review of policies and procedures regarding undercover officers' use of force, consumption of alcohol while undercover, and planning of undercover operations. The review board says, overall, it's satisfied with the remedies thus far. Satisfied with the remedy so far. Why didn't the cops face criminal charges if you're saying that it was so disgusting then god why not recommend charges and you know why be because they were white boys because they were pagans because there was an outlaw club because you have uh over in new jersey them doing a whole criminal uh type of deal on them that's why you didn't arrest them cops now here's the actual report and I will be putting this in the description box so you can read it. Hopefully you'll read it. Now, the incident, and I'm just going to skim over some of this stuff. Detective Honick, he consumed 13 to 15 drinks, doubles on the rocks. It wasn't beer. Detective Burgunder consumed 19 drinks. Detective Martin consumed 14 drinks. Lincoln drunk seven drinks. What would have happened? You know what? 13 to 15 drinks, uh, another one, 19? They weren't even allowed to drive, more or less work. And it's even said that the target of this investigation already left. So why did they stay? To get drunk. They were, you know what? It says right here. Official funds, all cash, were used to pay for the drinks consumed on the night of October 11th, 2018, in the early morning of October 12th. Any personal funds expended to purchase alcohol were reimbursed by the city. So basically, the citizens of Pittsburgh picked up the bar tab. Picked it up. Now, it goes on to everything like during the course of the surveillance, the officers identified their target, blah, blah, blah. Uh, after 11.40 uh, p.m., the video shows two men entered the establishment, both wearing vests identifying them as members of the Pagans Motorcycle Club. Uh, Mr. DeLuca and, uh, let's see here, Zoki 
uh, I, 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 I'm gonna butcher your name. I'm gonna just call you Mr. Z. Uh, Detective Honick is observed in the video as leaning back in his seat and looking at the back of the vest worn by DeLuca. So, these cops are already drunk. And you can tell they're looking for a fight. They wanted to instigate this so damn bad, it's unreal, because it's just like what happened with the Hells Angels deal, where the cop just wanted to shoot them. They're drunk, and they're on your dime. This is, again, you can go through, it's like 52 pages, and if you really do care about biker rights or club rights, as a lot of people say they do, go read this Citizen Police Review Board's report. See, there's a problem within the biker scene. It, I get it, it's tribalism. But if you're a supporter of one club, doesn't mean you can't sit back and say, you know what, even though I don't like that club, what happened there was wrong and could happen to me or to people I support. This, by all cases, is disgusting. The abuse of power here is messed up. And I hear these officers didn't even get fired. At the very least, if you don't want to charge them, arrest or freaking fire them. This is insanity. Because you know what? If we had 19 freaking drinks in our system and pop some civilian, oh, you can guarantee we're going to jail. But I guess the rules don't apply when it comes to cops and a badge. They beat DeLuca like a junkyard dog, man. The other guys as well. They had the one pagan freaking held back where he couldn't get into the melee. But for a citizen review board to see this kind of stuff and not be even more outraged than they claim that they were, this is messed up, especially in today's environment. This whole country's burning right now, but it ain't burning because of incidents is like this, because we won't get out there and bring light to the subject. How do you think they would feel if, say, 500 freaking bikes pulled up for a protest, engines revving, shutting down streets until we're heard? How do you think they'll react? It's going to have to be that kind of civil disobedience that finally gets this to the forefront where there is legislation passed. There's four states right now. Uh, there's another one in Illinois they're trying to pass about motorcycle profiling. Get on the phone with your reps and try to get this done. Don't let it be where you let other people do all the work and you sit back. Because at that point... You really don't care about what's going on in this scene. All you care about is going to party, uh, playing with each other's peckers, and let those that this affects suffer. Because why? It don't affect you? I guarantee if you ride for any amount of time, you're going to get pulled over, you're going to get profiled, and you're going to look back and say, you know what? Dude was right. You're damn right. <laughs> you damn well. Well, no, I'm right on that one. It will happen to you. And you're going to sit there and say, you know what? I supported the police. Why are they doing this? Because that's who they are. They got a God complex. That's who they are. That's what they do. It's just a lot of you guys don't know because it's never happened to you yet. And again, ride a couple of years and you're going to hear it. You're going to have it happen to you. 
They pull over people with hog and abate patches. Just because they're greasy looking bikers. Now, I don't know if they pull over the guys that look like they have money. I don't know. But I do know if you wear a patch, they're on you like flies on shit. This was just a terrible, terrible deal today. This is a smack in the face to law-abiding citizens. They went in there, they were having a drink, and you had a bunch of drunk cops jumping them. That's what happened. Let me know in the description box what you guys think. What you guys think in the video. And what you think about them not being charged, not even fired. I'm going to head on over to uh, MotorcycleMadhouseRadio.com for the second half of the show. Get jiggy with it. Uh, I'll see you over there. Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video.